Assalamualaikum and good morning YouTube. My name is Nur Muhammad from Malaysia and I am back with another watch review. Okay, so this time around it is my watch. Okay, so um, I would call like to call this a quite a what do you call it um, an under not underdog <laughs> a wild card watch in my collection because I rarely buy a uh, quartz watch. But anyway, so I'll I'll explain to you why I went for this one. Okay, so. Um, this is the Swatch, um, what is the model number, okay, let's see if I can focus, Swatch SDM107, I bought this, this in Japan somewhere around um, January, uh, that's that's like last month, okay, so my during my trip to Japan, so anyway, so as you can see here, there's a strap inside there, okay, so let's talk about this Swatch, okay, so this Swatch originally, originally came with this strap, okay, let's, um, it's something like a... Oh no, where is the thing? Okay, so it's something like a Velcro here. We have this, um, yeah, we have this uh, Velcro, uh, I don't know what to call this, the sponge thing with a Velcro thing. Okay, so it's kind of wrapped into your wrist like that and you attach it to here. The problem with it is, it's the, the, the only secure point is this portion of the strap. And yeah, you can see already that this one, this part of the strap is like, you know, fold, not folded, but uh, you know, it's it's kind of really annoying, but annoying because it doesn't really tuck in properly. So in order to, for you to do that, you have to clip it using this extra portion of from out, uh, from the outer side of the strap, and it is secured with this some kind of a. Uh, so it's annoying <laughs> okay so initially i i wanted to sell this one off but it, it's quite annoying because i you know I, I don't see the purpose of the of the strap uh, and it's quite difficult to use and to adjust so i wanted to, to i wanted to sell it off and oh sorry before that we should see yep there is a what is it in immersible just at water water is 200 meters okay so i'll talk about that later yeah so so i find that the strap is really annoying so i wanted to sell it off but i know but as you can see here on this watch we, they have some kind of an extension maybe you can i can give it a focus yep you can see here there is an some kind of an extension on the watch itself which is typically not available on any other swatch watches right so you can see here there is a you know a movable uh, lug i might add okay so it is it is on the normal it is still has that normal swatch um, lug system which you have to uh, push the pin from here but it is adjustable i don't know it is it is quite flexible so I before I wanted to sell it off, I tried to you know just take it off this take it off from this standard strap and put a twenty millimeter nato strap on it. But this uh, lug size is not net, uh, not twenty millimeters. It's actually maybe nineteen and a half something like that. But you can still slip through twenty millimeters nato strap on it. So when I strap it on, oh sorry about that. When I strap it on, I think like I think. The result is wow! I think this looks really, really cool. <laughs> okay, so, so that is why you know, the thing has been sitting on my desk for about like one month. I have I do I didn't know what to do with it. So yeah, I kind of like oh, okay, what the hell? Just take one of these and uh, use it as my daily beater. If I don't want it anymore, so I can just give it to my son or, or my daughter or something like that. Okay. So anyway, so this is a cool looking watch. Because of this NATO strap and because of that um, flexible uh, lug system, it becomes a cool watch. Okay, so yeah, so let's talk about it. Let's talk about the watch uh, head itself. So sorry. Okay, so the watch features a 36 millimeters uh, plastic case as uh, usual uh, swatch do. Okay, so there's nothing uh, new there. Uh, from lug to lug is about I think from here to from here to here is about 38 millimeters. But when you add in the lug, movable lug, uh, I don't know how to call that. <laughs> yeah, maybe you, you can't really, you know, you can't really add from here to here, right? So yeah, it's quite flexible. So yeah, that I, for, for lug to lug measurement, yeah, you can we can use like 40 millimeters from here to here, right? So what else? The thickness is about um, 14 millimeters, including this uh, plastic uh, crystal. And uh, the lug width, as I mentioned, is about 19.5 millimeters. But you can squeeze in a, um, 
20 millimeters need to without any problem okay so so let's get to the there are quite in a few interesting part on this <laughs> watch okay so yeah let's let's get to the bezel as you can see here in any other swatch i never found this rotating bezel yep it is a plastic rotating die bezel yeah that is new for me okay so yeah you can see here the click it is nice but you can see here there's quite a big uh play there you know you can't really for swatch for that because it, it it's actually plastic so yeah you can't really uh, complain that much so anyway that's the bezel is done it's plastic and we have um, some point of uh, grip point here right so it's not really that sharp but you can still feel there's a sharp edge over there okay so let's get to the dial the dial yes you can see here the the blue color uh, is a light blue with a printed uh, pink in indices a our white uh, full loom white uh, our hands over there and uh, minute hands over there which is quite annoying because it's it our hand is supposed to be sharp like that right so this one is like that <laughs> so yeah it's <laughs> quite difficult to see where is uh, where is it actually pointing okay so and on the second hand also we have this we have this lollipop style um second hand over there with an orange loom pit so okay so since i've mentioned the loom oh sorry before we go to the loom let's see what is available what is printed on the watch itself so you can see here it's called swatch swiss scuba sport water friendly <laughs> which is what when i received it when i received it when i first uh, read it water friendly what exactly does uh did swatch mean by that okay so water friendly is i don't know man i don't know so before we go we, we go into that let's just check out the crown so the crown features a push pull crown which annoyingly doesn't stop the second hand right so yes you can see that i've pulled it i pulled it all the way and i can adjust the hand and the uh, and for whatever reason the second hand doesn't stop i don't know so maybe there are some quartz movement like that so we should we push it back in the crown is an unsigned crown but it has a i can see you can see here there's a step here where you can use your fingernails to pop it up all right so yeah so let's get back to that water friendly so what does swatch means by water friendly okay, so let's take a look at the back and you can see here this is a typical swatch uh, case back you can see all the inner working inside there and as you can see here water resistant 200 meters wow how <laughs> i have no idea how true is that claim by swatch but if we look just by the construction of the watch there's nothing special there's no screw down screw down crown here the battery is over here so i don't know how do they claim this as a 200 meters meter, meter distant watch no water friendly watch because we have this uh, you know maybe there are chances that um, water might go through this um, battery or and also the crown so is this a joke by swatch i don't know but yeah so somebody from swatch if you guys are seeing this uh, video so this video please do explain in the comment section below which i doubt that they will never bother <laughs> okay so anyway so it is is it a joke by swatch i don't know seriously i don't know and i don't really bother to check uh, or, or you know or issue a complaint whatever but that water friendly is really really a very nice and um, you know funny statement by, <laughs> funny statement by swatch anyway so Oh no, how do I find this watch? Yeah, because of the lug um, is, uh, you know, adjustable, so it is um, quite easy to use. So you can use it on smaller wrists and you can use it on bigger wrists. Oh, okay, so let's pop it up, pop it on my uh, 6.75 inch wrist. Um, so what do you guys think? Do you guys have any same similar, uh, you know, swatch model that claim it is water friendly? So please let me know in the comment section below. All right. So yep. Okay. So yeah, I posted this picture on my Instagram Instagram account at Mamat LXR. So please do search my Instagram account at that at uh, at that uh, address. Oh, sorry, at that link. Uh, at the link below. So yeah, as you can see here, my wrist is a six point seven five. It sits very very well because of that 
uh, flexible lock system and yeah i think this is a cool looking uh, wild card watch for my collection okay so i don't know whether this thing will stay long in my collection i'm not sure about that but yeah it's it's, it's really cool you know so because it, i i think i've never seen i've never saw any uh, swatch with a nato strap before so if you guys do um, you know know any mod, any other uh, swatch model that is using uh, nato straps please do let me know in the comment section below so anyway all in all it is a cool watch and it doesn't really cost me a lot of money so i can't tell you how much i bought, I, I bought it for but i bought it in uh, gotemba japan they have a very very good promotion at the time uh, when i was there and yeah i can say this is definitely a value for money okay so for those of you who doesn't know uh this is a narrow strap and i've mod this to to fit to the swatch watches and of course i can pair it with lots more chemistry combinations such as this uh, orange white and gray you can put you can pop in an orange strap over there and also you, we can pop it pop in this um Bang Nato from cheapestnatostripe.com which looks really really cool so anyway all in all I think this is a good um, sample of uh, swatch watches that we can modify no not really modify yeah you can take it out take off the stripe and put in your own needle stripe of your liking and it is definitely a good buy if you want to look for a quartz swatch that is you know custom customizable for uh, to your own liking so if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and please uh, subscribe if you want to see lots more contents uh, from me in the future and i hope you have a very nice weekend and i'll see you on the next one bye bye